Hello, thank you so much for spending your afternoon with us today. I'm Christine Hackenbrook. I'm on staff here at Narcolepsy Network, and I also run our virtual support group meetings. But today, I want to talk to you about food. As a tired mom of three, one of which who has narcolepsy type 1, I need to have some healthy snacks on hand for the kids to grab um, during their Zoom school meetings. And it's hard. I gotta tell you, it is, but you can do it. So today I'm gonna share three recipes. The first of which is egg bites, which you bake in the oven. And then the next one is a roasted nut mix. And that's a really great one for an afternoon pick me up snack. It's my favorite. And last, I'm gonna share a quick video about how to make your own salad dressing for a quick and easy eating salad. So again, the base ingredients, just eggs, salt, pepper, cheese. I use avocado oil to spray my pan, but you can also use um, some paper liners. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Crack four eggs into a large bowl. Add your salt and pepper to taste, about one teaspoon each. You can also add some like garlic salt or something spicy. Now you're gonna grate one cup of cheddar cheese, that's optional. I like freshly grated cheese because it doesn't have all those anti-caking chemicals and grossness. Um, but you can use whatever you have. And now we're gonna whisk together the eggs, the salt, and the pepper. Till it's all incorporated. Now you're gonna add the cheese to your egg mixture. This is also the perfect time if you're gonna mix it up and you're gonna add like a cooked protein or some wilted spinach, red peppers, this is when you would add that, those things as well. And then you're gonna stir it all to combine together. Now you're gonna grab your muffin tin and spray it with avocado oil, or again, you can use paper or silicone liners. I also use the mini muffin tin because um, it just is fun to be bite-sized. And then I use it tablespoon scooper to fill up the muffin tin cups. Um, you wanna fill it a little over halfway so they don't um, you know, spill over in the oven when you bake them. And all filled up, now ready to go in the oven. And we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. And they're done. So you want to stick a toothpick in one to make sure that the eggs are cooked all the way through. And then you can just eat them right from the pan or let them cool and store them in the fridge. I usually make these at night and then I will have, um, the kids will just eat them the next day. They're great for breakfast or any time. Eggs are a really nice complete protein. And the ingredients are raw nuts, butter, fresh rosemary, cayenne, cumin, salt, pepper, and maple syrup. I have rosemary in my front yard, so I went out and picked a bunch, but you can get fresh rosemary at most grocery stores. And here's everything you need. 
Again, I chose cashews, almonds, hazelnut, and pumpkin seeds, but you can choose whatever nuts you want. And you're gonna to wanna to preheat the oven to 350 degrees while you get everything else assembled. I use a kitchen scissors to chop the rosemary. I wasn't really able to get it as fine as I wanted, so maybe someone has a better trick for chopping rosemary. And then you can melt the butter in the microwave in just quick 15 second bursts so you don't melt it and then stir. Now you're gonna add all the spices, the chopped rosemary, cumin, cayenne, salt, and pepper, and stir it around. And then add the maple syrup, because you don't want that to be too hot. Stir it around again. Then in a big bowl, you're gonna add that yummy delicious butter spice mixture to your nuts stir it all over make sure it's they're all nice and coated then you're going to stick it on a baking sheet with parchment paper and bake for 10 to 15 minutes and you're going to stir um, about halfway through to make sure that they're all coated um, I did not use enough salt the first time, so I'm adding some salt at the end while they're still warm. So the salt's going to really stick to all of that. Stir it around again, and then make sure you store it in an airtight container, um, you know, because there is butter on there, so it will spoil, um, but it should keep for about a week if you can make it last that long. recipe is a grilled chicken Caesar salad with homemade Caesar dressing. So for homemade dressing, you're going to have anchovy fillets, garlic, salt, and egg yolk, fresh lemon juice, Dijon mustard, avocado oil, and grated Parmesan. So you're going to want to season and cook your chicken if you're using that. Again, this can totally be done without meat. And then you're gonna start making your dressing. So I'm peeling the garlic and I've got my anchovy fillets. Then you're gonna add salt to it and chop it up and make a paste. Full disclosure, I failed at making the paste. I think I should have left some more of the oil from the anchovies on my cutting board so it would get a little bit pastier. So then I added more salt, but I chopped it pretty fine. So that's how you wanna get the paste. You wanna like smush it with the side of your knife. But again, I'm sure you can do better than me. And now we need one egg yolk. I did end up doubling the recipe because there's five people in my house. We had this for dinner. And still really easy to make. So throw your egg yolk in there. And then juice a lemon. And then add your Dijon mustard. I did not show that, but add that. And then also you can place a kitchen towel underneath your bowl so it doesn't slide around when you whisk because you're going to whisk with one hand and pour the oil with the other hand. So you're going to whisk all this together first. And then you're going to slowly drizzle in the oil until it's all combined. And now I know this can seem like a lot but I promise you, it is really easy to do. You can make the dressing one day, you can you know, cook your chicken or whatever you're using another day. And then I just use bag salad that I didn't have to wash or chop or anything. Um, so this can be you know, like a multi-day process, good way to use leftovers. I uh, just wanted to show you that you know, making your own dressing is possible and it's delicious. I really recommend you trying it.
And then you're going to add the anchovy and garlic paste. In my recipe, it's actually crumbles, but it was still delicious. Stir all that to combine. Then you're going to freshly grate some Parmesan cheese into your dressing. Chop some chicken or whatever you're using. Again, that's optional. And then add it to your bag salad mix, the dressing, and then toss to combine. More cheese. I love the cheese. And it's a Caesar salad. You got to have the cheese. And voila, beautifully plated. Thank you for cooking with me today. All of the recipes can be adapted to your own personal taste. What are some of your favorite recipes? We would love to know. Please send them to me and we might share them in a future newsletter. Uh, my email address is info at narcolepsynetwork.org. And again, if you have any other questions about what we did today, please email that to me as well. The recipes that I just cooked will be shared real soon, hopefully next week. And again, thanks for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the webinar. Thanks.